And welcome back to Mods Under Double Cross, episode 18. So, what do you got for us today, gal? Dunes accounting. Wonderful. Young hunter, your hands seem idle. You should get to be yourself collecting points from the dunes on the items. It's fine as long as you meet the quota. Take care now. Are there any eggs? Gathering skills. Taste. Yeah, it's decent. It's what I wanted, I guess, so I guess it would be decent. Are there any eggs, though? Hmm. Oh man, can you either be a Hermitor or a Gendrome? And actually, it can't be a Hermitor. I'm gonna look up if there's any eggs in the dunes in generations. Hello, you two. I presume it'll be in the same place. I mean, I hope, A, that it's the same, and B, that this is worth a thousand points. I mean, presumably. Oh, we haven't been here yet. Shifting sand land. Yep. Yes, this should be worth the points that we need. It is faster than running up hill and full ultimate with this. So I do have to wonder, is Frenzy just going to be a normal thing? I mean, we haven't found any Frenzied monsters yet, and I've never fought them in my 22 hours of playing this. Oh, good. I'm just fast enough to go up here if I can. Wait, what? It looks like he balances on his head and then he jumps up. Hey, these aren't your eggs, so you can't get mad at me. He's targeting me. That for blood. And there we go. The one time I'm actually happy to deliver eggs. Well, I did really like the egg mafia in Four Ultimate. Dance for me, cats. Oh, 
Okay, seal egg. Okay, we already got that stuff. Bunch of why are you giving me barrels? Yes, please. Find it interesting, my iPhone keeps on saying that it might not be able to support its own charger. No, not multiplayer. It makes sense what they want to say, maybe you want to go to multiplayer first, but... Oh, look, the G-Ranker actually managed to complete this. And we have no, um, stuff there. You know what? Maybe I should, like, switch, um, like, where I go out with missions every, like, video, actually. That'd be nice-ish, I guess. said, don't do that. Oh, Verdant Hills, stay. Lately, there have been a lot of us who are creeping up closer and closer to the village. These villagers are worried. Can you calm their fears by doing in some of the impressive critters? I don't get why you're not in um, your own, like, palace. Sure. And we're not gonna find. I doubt we're gonna find a Velocidrum there. Let us go! The cat victory! Actually, I should be picking up the paintballs in here. Actually, you know what? Well, I'm not exactly out of them. Ah. Oh. Aren't you from the first one? I actually, because I was looking up, like, what are the weapons? Because actually, believe it or not, there are at least two weapons that exist that don't really, like, aren't in this game anymore. And that is the medium bow gun, which is actually from Try. Which is a bit of an odd one. And the Tom Fuzz, which I think might actually be in Frontier? I don't know. Ah, there's my play prey, my Velocity Prey. I'm gonna try. Careful, puzzle, you might get cut. Yeah, it's mo yeah, this works for this, it's just mostly, um, just cephal cephalos, whatever. They were a problem. Wait, you're Moss Swine, aren't you? Oh, great, this place. I remember this place. It's... You have to climb up over here if you actually want to get to five. Don't jump up. Okay, you jumped all the way down. I didn't mess it up. I 
Actually, I have Deserted Island now unlocked, right? I think I can get by it. Oh, it's a good thing I went here. This is Philosopher Paradise. Now it's going to be Philosopher Hell soon enough. How fancy for missing. Sorry, Vanilla. Oh. Did you just blow yourself up down there? Sorry, Master's left. Indicatively means he died, which is stupid of saying that now. Ow! Hopefully, you don't have like toxins or anything like that. There we go. But you think it'll be easier to hunt you now? Thank you. There's more? Think your home was the last mistake you'll ever make. Yes, and actually the last one I need is right there. Yeah, I said you'll be the last one to die. Well, I didn't say that. I said you'd be the one to go for this. Oh, my demon cat. They just keep on coming, don't they? I might actually be able to make an armor set from you. Or well, obviously I can. It'll be the cheap knockoff one with the Velocidrome stuff. Well, when I eventually do fight a Velocidrome, you'll actually be useful. Nice iron ore for one shot. So it makes up losing whatever item I just mined at the end. Yeah, I'll use them actually to whenever I have to kill anything that's not a large monster. Was by how to hide stripped of its scales. Used to join the plates in a suit of armor. Play scale. Bloom back in color. Okay, community. Scale obtained by carving up a velocity. Bloom back in color. The sure love one stack. Crystals. Ooh, Kokoto has something for me. Oh, gatekeeper guy. Oh, it's because I actually did the thing for the gatekeeper. Hi, you're inside of me. There we go. Oh, and you're gonna give me a thing. Nope, oh, never mind. 
Now you're gonna give me the ticket. Yep, thank you. Ah, it's you. Are you gonna give me a flight ticket? You are. Isn't the like G rank or something like that? Well, I don't know. Because I know there's a village quest that has you fight against Velfic, but the guy was on an airship at the time, so. Because I don't actually know if there's G rank village quests in the Ultimate slash G slash, I guess, double series. Anyways, I need to read this armor. Zero Serpent Blade. New version of the Ravager Blade, modeled after a snake's head. Bone Katana Wolf. With longsword built on a bone base. Top edge is covered in monster fangs. Secta Nulo. A sword car from Banabra parts. So the pattern is both stylish and sharp. Serpent Bite. Powerful serpent blade made from high quality velocity materials. Airship Hammer. The most least eff effective hammer in existence. To new and greater heights with this weapon that satisfies both airship and hammer lovers. Ooh. Bunch of horns. Vicello Nulo. A cello-like weapon woven from banana parts. Skillful players make truly unique music with it. Velocipray balloon made of common velocipray parts. Basic and easy to use, it's a popular model. Airship horn. A sounding horn recreates a sound heard in the clouds surrounding an airship. Native spear. Poison lance that's seen used since ancient times, still beloved to this day. Vacuum striker. Spear held by a legendary female hunter, who's often called the Janderer. Hunt lance. For the traveler inside every true hunter, produces gifts of majestic wind. You are low. This looks like what looks like buds at the end of the barrel are actually sharp thorns. But hope so, otherwise that'd be the least effective lance in existence, even though it is a gun lance. Which I don't mean to say that's an ineffective lance, it's probably more effective actually. Does it fall? Cephadrome charge blade. He's a paralytic agent as well as a fin for offensive and defensive. these insect glaives and yet even after doing like 120 episodes of 4 ultimate still only a 4 that I can make Ordident it's a glaive made to look like a beetle the wriggling jaws are not for the squeamish that would have works okay I was gonna say altar of stomachs that's what it looks at the very bottom a zero bayonet a bayonet style insect glaive with added velocity materials. It whizzes across fields in pursuit of prey. Apparently that prey being the bone staff, since it's attacking that word now. Sand anchor, Sevedorm insect glaive. It attacks like tusk bursting tusk bursting forth from the sand. Airship gun. Fly Fight on with courage. Light bow gun made from the equipment aboard, aboard an airship. Interesting. Sand diver. Beloved streamlined bow gun. Its versatility and functionality are sublime. Alco Nulo. Why? Why? An elegant bow made from Nara parts. It's built on thunder properties and inspire shock and awe. Wasn't that a military mission? I think it was. Cephalus helm. Had armor made from cephalus material. I guess I must have had. I guess I just didn't have any fan fins. Or, or, 
or fangs. A head armor made from cephalus materials. A large decorative fin shines proudly of all. Cephalus cap. Headgear made from cephalus materials. Training scales it uses improved fire resistance. Cephalus mail. <coughs> made from cephalus spots. Quick, sturdy, quite sturdy though weak against ice attacks. Those vests. Chest armor made from the finest cephalus materials. It's a trademark fin adorns the shoulder. Cephalus braces. It's made of cephalus materials. Breathable for use under the blazing sun. Cephalus guards. Arm guards made from cephalus parts. Large, wide, shield like fin defends the arm. Also, finally, oh, great Bufango stuff. Also, great tacits. Armor made from velocity parts. Massively balanced for close quarters combat. Velocity coat. This summer crafter was easily obtainable velocity materials. And a Bufango pelt, because why not? Yes, I'll take that. Oh, what? I can't actually equip it? That's weak. Velocity Greaves. You are made of Velocity parts. Protects the entire leg, not just the shin. Velocity Leggings. Uses Velocity materials to protect the wearer's leg, made to avoid obstacles. Interesting. Do I really? Okay, so you can't actually mess with anything on your hunter. If you're your hunter. Wait, what? Oh, not Palico board. I feel stupid now. No, we don't look quite as silly anymore. What does that? Because I swear I've seen. Like this helmet style before, where like one horn is larger than the other one, it's curved like that. Because I, I keep on thinking that it's Moth from RuneScape, but I don't think that's what it is. Oh! Server target. I guess we'll be doing that next time. So, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!